In this video, we will see an example of the calculation of the channel capacity for a digital channel with binary input. In general, the channel capacity is a constraining maximization problem. It is necessary to maximize the inf mutual information between the input and the output of the system. The unknowns, the maximization, is made over the input distribution and the constraints are the constraints for the values of probabilities. In general, it can be difficult to find an analytical solution. These solutions can only be obtained for simple channels. For instance, for channels with a binary input. Here we have an example of such a channel. The Z channel has two inputs, X0 and X1. With X0 we have a perfect transmission, with X1 we have an error probability of Epsilon. Um, to obtain the capacity, it is necessary to have an expression of the uh, mutual information between the input and the output, and it's necessary to parameterize the unknowns, the probabilities uh, that we have in the symbols that are transmitted, x0 and x1. When we have a binary input, it's possible to uh, parameterize the two probabilities by a single parameter. For instance, the probability of x1 is p, and therefore the probability of x0 is 1 minus p. With this parameterization, in general, it's relatively simple to obtain the uh, channel capacity. It's necessary to evaluate the mutual information between the input and the output. And for instance, we can use this relationship with the entropies is the difference between the entropy of the output of the end and the entropy of the output given the input. The conditional entropy of the output given the input can be obtained by averaging the entropy of y for every possible value of x. This is the distribution of y for x equal to x0. We can see that there is no uncertainty. In this case, the output is always uh, y0, this means that the entropy is 0, and when x is equal to x1, we have that y0 has probability epsilon and y1 has probability 1 minus epsilon. We have the entropy of a binary random variable when one of the elements have probability epsilon. This, is, this can be written as the binary entropy of argument epsilon. Now, if we average these two values, 0 and the binary entropy of epsilon, what we have is that the mutual information can be written as the difference between the entropy of y and p times the, uh, the binary entropy of argument, the probability of error that we have for x1. To obtain the entropy of the output, it is necessary to compute the distribution of this output. Using the arrow diagram, it is straightforward to obtain the probability of y0 and the probability of y1 as a function of p and as a function of the parameter epsilon. Once that we have these probabilities, this is a binary uh, uh, random variable, we can write the entropy of y as the binary entropy of argument the probability of one of these elements. For instance, the probability of uh, y1, that is p times 1 minus epsilon. And this means that the mutual information can be written in this way. We have the binary entropy of argument p times 1 minus epsilon minus p times the binary entropy of argument epsilon. And this, it is necessary now to obtain the maximum of this expression as a function of the unknown that are parameterized with the parameter b. This is the expression for the mutual information, the expression that we want to maximize. Here we have developed the expressions for the binary entropy of the argument p times 1 minus epsilon and to obtain the maximum of a function with respect to a parameter we can obtain the derivative and if we know the binary entropy function 
its derivative is very simple. It's the lowering of 1 minus the argument divided by the argument, and of course times the derivative of the argument. And now, if we derivate this expression with respect to b, and we equate this expression to zero, the solution is uh, very simple. Now we need to solve this equation for p. This term must be equal to this term to have zero in the difference. Now we can get rid of the uh, logarithm, taking two to the power in both sides of the equation. And now from this expression, we can solve the equation for p and we obtain the value for p that maximizes the uh, mutual information between the input and the output. Now, in the channel capacity, we'll have the expression of the mutual information for this value p. This is binary entropy of p times 1 minus epsilon, this term here, minus p times the binary entropy of argument epsilon bits per use. And of course, the distribution of the input that is associated to this channel capacity is probability of uh, x1 equal to p and the probability of x0 is the complementary probability, 1 minus p. In this way, for channels with a binary input, is relatively simple to compute analytically the channel capacity. Thank you.